Michael Savage banned in outrage. The outspoken radio talk show host is just one of several Americans banned from Britain. The Home Secretary there says that people who, in her words, stir up hatred are not welcome. Since Paula Newton reports from London. When Britain decided to formally name and shame those it believes stir up hate, Americans Fred Phelps and daughter Shirley could have fallen under the category of the usual suspects. They had already been banned from Britain a few months ago after picketing the funerals of U.S. soldiers, claiming their deaths are punishment from God because the U.S. tolerates homosexuality. But Michael Savage, one of the country's top-rated radio personalities, just didn't see it coming. He, too, has been banned from Britain by the country's Home Secretary, Jackie Smith, for, in her words, seeking to provoke others to serious criminal acts and fostering hatred, which might lead to inter-community violence. She adds to individuals who abuse our standards and values to undermine our way of life, they are not welcome here. Michael Savage made it known on his radio show, he's just not going to take it. I would sue her until the last day on earth to prove that she, in fact, is the individual who uh, the English should be afraid of, not me. Savage says he will sue for defamation and accuses the British government of gagging free speech. He has stirred up controversy, even recently suggesting illegal Mexican immigrants were engaged in germ warfare by spreading swine flu. He has been criticized for his conservative views on everything from homosexuality to autism. But he says he is no hate monger and does not promote violence. But in Britain, this is not a First Amendment issue. It is what they call a hate issue. And along with 21 others, including anti-gay preachers, radical Muslim clerics, and the Ku Klux Klan, Michael Savage, says the British government, is not free to speak on the Queen's soil. Paul and CNN, London.